Hey, my friend, welcome to this episode of The Daily Writer. This is the show where we share a lesson each day to help you cultivate the habits for creative success. This one is for all the 1980s rock fans out there. In 1985, the music group Heart was choosing songs to record for its eighth studio album, which was to be simply titled Heart. The group normally recorded songs they had written themselves, but they had been presented with a new song written by Martin Page and Bernie Taupin. Page was a singer-songwriter who had co-written some notable tunes, such as Starship's anthem, We Built This City, and Taupin was Elton John's frequent writing partner. Now, Page and Taupin had written a new tune called These Dreams, which had been offered to Stevie Nicks, but she turned it down. So the song found its way to Hart, who agreed to record it for their upcoming album. When Nancy Wilson went into the studio to record lead vocals for the song, she had a cold that day, and this made her vocals on that song sound raspy. Now, the song went on to great commercial success, and later on, producers wanted her to recreate the same vocal style, jokingly asking her if she could just get sick again. As so often happens in art, the artist's weakness had become her secret weapon, at least on that song. So what do you perceive as your weakness, quote unquote? Maybe you're divorced. Maybe you have a physical disability. Maybe people have made fun of you for wanting to be a writer. Maybe you didn't get good grades in school, or maybe you flunked out of college. Maybe you have failed in a lot of things, and you wonder if you have anything of value to offer to the world as a writer. So let me set the record straight. You absolutely do. You have something of value to offer to the world. You have so much value and so much to offer, in fact, that I want you to begin to take a look at yourself a little bit differently. Turn it around and begin to see your biggest weakness as your biggest strength. It's what sets you apart and it's what makes you unique. So don't run from it and don't hide it. Put yourself out there and be proud of the person you are. You have no idea how many other people will relate to the weakness that you can share through your writing. Here's today's daily question. What is your biggest weakness and how can you use it in your writing to help others? Thanks so much for listening to today's episode. If you've been listening to this show for any length of time, you know that one of the four practices of a great writer is creativity. And in order to stay creative, you've got to have great input. And that's where writing prompts come in. A writing prompt is a sentence or two that helps you break through creative blocks, brainstorm new ideas, and get back into a state of flow. Writing prompts are an awesome creative tool for journaling, storytelling, creative writing, stress relief, social media posts, and so much more. But the great news is that you don't have to create these yourself. We've put together an amazing package of 365 daily writing prompts. So every day for the next year, you can have a shot of inspiration delivered straight to your inbox. You can check it out at dailywriterlife.com slash writing prompts. Thanks, and I'll see you tomorrow.